Welcome Planeswalkers to the Collector Mania YouTube channel. My name is Eric Ward and today we're going to go through a brew preview of Valduk Keeper of the Flame. If you haven't seen Valduk, for 2 and a red you get a 3-2 Human Shaman. At the beginning of combat on your turn, for each aura and equipment attached to Valduk, create a 3-1 Elemental with Trample and Haste. Exile those tokens at the beginning of the next end step. So the idea here is we are going to try to first keep all of our uh, elementals that we may get in one combat step around with Sundial the Infinite. Here you can see you can tap uh, and pay one and the turn, act this, activate this ability only on your turn. You can get rid of those, exile these tokens at the beginning of the next end step trigger. Really good card, really good for kind of cheating through some of those sack at end of turn type effects. Next, of course, Aggravated Assault. Uh, you know, pay five, untap all creatures you control, um, get an additional main phase, and then an additional combat. You can do this over and over again, only during your main phase, essentially. But if you get, let's say, three auras and equipments attached to Valduk, go to combat. Now you could go to combat again and now have six guys swinging, including Val Valduk. So really, really good there. Next, one of my pet cards, Tenza Godo's Mall, for three cost, one to equip. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, as long as it's legendary, so check. And an additional plus two, plus two, and trample, as long as it's red. So really good there. You could turn Valduk into a 6-5. Uh, just a really interesting card, especially for red artifacts. Uh, next, we have Shared Animosity. Uh, just giving plus one, plus oh for each uh, creature attacking that shares a type. So really good for our elementals. If you have two of them, they all get plus two, plus oh. So that can really get out of hand, especially with Trample and Haste. Um, yeah, Shared Animosity is a really great card for kind of like massive wave type decks. Next, Stranic Resonator. For two and a tap, you can copy a triggered ability. A triggered will say like at or when or if. So at the beginning of combat, on your turn, pay two extra and get double the amount of red elementals. Next, Gauntlet of Power. Always good for a mono red deck, even Gauntlet of Might or even Cage Sun. Uh, creatures of the chosen color get plus one plus one um, and you know you could all of a sudden be swinging with four two elemental tramplers with haste pretty pretty good there one of my favorite uh, equipments Kasari Gama uh, for three cost three equip a cre equip creature has kind of colorless fire breathing pay two get plus one plus plus O. Oh. but the important part here is when equip creature deals damage to blocking creature Kasari Gama deals that much damage to each other creature that defending player controls so you can pretty much wipe a whole board, even if, um, you know, Valduk is a four. All of a sudden they may not want to block with their tramplers because a 3-1 elemental or something might might get through now. Especially if you get Valduk first strike, you can deal damage to a blocker and then just, like, kind of bomb the whole board, let your tramplers get through. Kind of some crazy Christmas land here. We have Shuko. One costs zero equip. Uh, creature gets plus one plus O. Oh. The idea, turn one, play this. Next, we've got Lightning Greaves, play uh, two costs, zero equip, again, turn two, play this, and then turn three, drop Valduk, pay zero to equip both of them. Now he's got haste, plus one, plus O, oh, and shroud, and you can go to turn three combat, swinging for Valduk for four, and then two uh, elementals as well. So kind of, like I said, Magic Christmas Land, but really, really nuts. There's some other cheap artifacts and equipments I definitely recommend uh, looking to play as well. Another one of my favorites, especially for subtypes, we have Thornbite Staff. It's a free equip. If you see that second group, whenever a Shaman creature comes into play, you may attach Thornbite Staff to it. Um, really good, and whenever a creature dies, he untaps too. So all of a sudden, you'd be at least getting a free guy on turn three if you curve out right, or turn four, excuse me, once he finally gets haste. Next, go to Bandit Warlord. When he enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an equipment put it onto the battlefield. So you can get something greedy like a dark steel plate or who knows what else, maybe a sword or something and just throw it on the field, wait for Valduk to equip it and then get another 3-1. Uh, next, Brass Squire. Uh, essentially we'd look to equip our greedy equipment that Godot just got us for his tap ability. Attach target equipment you control to target creature you control. Into some auras we've got Betrothed of Fire. Uh, sacrifice an untapped creature Enchanted creature, so most likely Valduk, gets plus two plus O. Oh, and you can sacrifice Enchanted Creature. All creatures you control get plus two plus O oh until end of turn. So even if Valduk blocks and you've got a horde of three ones, now you can sacrifice Valduk. Now they're all five ones with trample. Really, really good. 
Next, we've got Bravado here. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control. Uh, really good, especially for two. You know, you can kind of pump out a whole bunch of elementals at the start of combat and then give Valduk plus one, plus one for each elemental uh, he's already got on him. So re really, really good there. Kind of two duplicates here. Claws of Alakut for three. Enchant creature gets plus one, plus oh for each mountain you control and has first strike. So really good combo with the Kasari Gamma there. And just playing them on a red deck. Who who could complain if it's turn, say, four, and you get plus four, plus O, oh, and first strike? Similarly, we have Granite Grip without the first strike, but Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus O oh for each mountain, so you can kind of double up there. Uh, Dragon Mantle, just kind of an interesting one. For one, you get to give Fire Breathing and draw a card. So pretty, pretty decent there, especially kind of early game or late game if you're just kind of stuttering out you can play your commander again draw a card and uh, give him the ability to make a 3-1 at combat uh, I think our last one here we have the brute uh, for one in a red target creature gains plus one plus oh and for three red can regenerate so kind of curious there especially for a creature you may want to be sweet swinging with quite often um, kind of an odd grouping here for red but kind of a neat one as well and very very old so I think that'll take us to the end of our list. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Of course, like and subscribe if you're interested, and then hit the notification if you're already a subscriber. Stay tuned for more brew previews for Dominaria, and we'll catch you next time.